and retrieves the briefcase with the contract inside of it to be cashed in over the next year, anytime, any place. Making her way to the ring from Florida, Jane Cargill. The tension building for this match is so thick you can cut it with a knife. A lot of drama involved with this one. Make way for the evil genius of the sky. And an evil genius who is now in control. And representing damage control from Tokyo, Japan, Evil Sky! An NXT Women's Tag Team Champion, a Dusty Classic winner, NXT Women's oh, Champion, yes. and multiple time WWE Women's Tag Team Champion. Yeah, there was truly no limit to the future success of EO Sky, especially with damage control by her side. Well, lover or hater, Sky has one of the best moonsaults in all of WWE. You're right about that, Saxon. If we're lucky, we'll see another one tonight. The genius of the Sky about to assert control. Some would say this superstar thinks a little too much of themselves, but the tape doesn't lie. This is a serious contender for any title. They need to loosen up, have a little fun. Heck, maybe even lose a match once in a while. <laughs> that is horrible advice. One of the top names in the entire women's division, and she plans on showing exactly why here tonight. From Dublin, Ireland, Liger Van King Rivera! The WWE Universe has been counting the days, hours, and minutes for this match to start, and the countdown is almost over. One of the most anticipated matches we've had in quite some time. And this woman is the reason why. Dakota Kai has arrived. A truly dangerous woman, even if she's on your side. And representing damage control from Auckland, New Zealand, Dakota Kai. So Dakota may not be really trustworthy, but she is an amazing in-ring competitor. Who needs trust when you can kick everyone's face off?
Well, I may have reservations on her personality, but I agree that Kai is a very dangerous competitor. Well, if Kai fails the Byron Saxton personality test, I'd say she's doing great. Chelsea Green. Are you kidding me, Saxton? Championship gold, competing at WrestleMania, those are things that Chelsea earned. That she even had to politely ask for those opportunities is due to poor work of a substandard general manager. Maybe after Chelsea gets the win tonight, the general manager will finally recognize her talents. Money in the Bank is such a dangerous match, Corey. Not only career-changing, but career-threatening. The athleticism of these superstars is unmatched in sports entertainment. But when you introduce a steel ladder into the equation, the possibility of injury is multiplied tenfold. Any superstar that's ever competed in a ladder match will tell you that you lose a piece of yourself in these matches. Oh, no doubt. This is the kind of battle that will scar you for the rest of your career. And it is for the WWE Intercontinental! 
is one intimidating superstar. I agree with you, Saxton. I pity those who pick a fight with Braun Breaker. Absolute power, absolute aggression. This kid's the real deal. I agree, Cole. He's already more than living up to his family pedigree. Look, Sammy's a competitor who has always done his homework. So hopefully his opponent did too. No superstar with more heart in WWE than Sami Zayn. You can beat him down, kick him around over and over again, but Sami will always get back up. The incomparable Sami Zayn, ready to give it his all once again. The ultimate measure of a man is how he stands at challenging times, and Sammy is always up for a challenge. to the Intercontinental Championship. So much weight attached to this match. Yeah, but right now it's all about living in the present, in the now. That's the only way the champ's gonna get out of this with his title in tow. Nothing fancy here. Backbreaker. Time backbreaker. Just breaking down the opponent. Oh, man, check out this power. Establishing complete control. Sammy Zayn, takedown. The Cozy Clutch. Cole Breaker likes to talk about how. How's he going to get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Oh, man, the rep needs to get out of the way. Executed suplex. Pulled back in. 
belly to belly suplex. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. You wouldn't know it to look at him or anyone in his family, but Braun Breaker's a surprisingly intelligent competitor. Obviously, brute strength is one of the great tools in his arsenal, but if you overlook Breaker's ring smarts, it might be your undoing. Good insight, Corey. This guy needs to plan for anything from Breaker. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. Showing out their deadlifting prowess and just tossing their opponent like they're nothing. And a message sent there letting the champion know the kid gloves are off. Love it fancy here. Backbreaker. Backbreaker. Oh, complete deadlift. This is incredible. Gut-wrench suplex. Zayn looking helpless to every attack. And all credit where credit's due, Breaker is using his ring smarts to get ahead, which his opponent did not anticipate. Calf kick right on point. DDT! And that's something that will slow down Breaker. Submission locked in tight, nowhere to go. No! What a reversal! Incredible! He reverses it. Oh, what a right! Yeah, that's some action. Oh, look out. It's on now. Able to interrupt the attack. Nothing pretty here. Just good old-fashioned fisticuffs. Big shots being fired right now. Neither competitor letting up. They are emptying their tanks going back and forth like this. And that negates Zane's offense. Close line! Ron Breaker submission all the old. Looking to end this with a nod. You can feel him desperately trying to find a way, and he does. Ron dodges just in time. That's the devastating power we've come to expect from Braun Breaker. Braun Breaker, his strength on display. This is absolutely incredible. Power slam. The champ's eyes look glazed over. Two. And the title's changing hands. He came for the title, and he got it. This is the kind of moment you dream about as a competitor. Bravo to him. Mello is money. The following contest is the Money in the Bank Ladder Match. To win this match, the winner is the superstar who climbs up the ladder and retrieves the briefcase with the contract inside of it to be cashed in over the next year, anytime, any place. Making his way to the ring from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds. I hate to pair it a catchphrase, but Mello really is money. Multiple title reigns and main events to his name already. And this guy is destined to continue that success in all of WWE. Carmelo Hayes looks eager to get things done. WWE Universe, prepare to be shooshed. And representing the Alpha Academy from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 202 pounds, Chad Gable. Chad Gable, proven ability to 
to teach and lead as the head of the Alpha Academy. Chad Gable always competes at the highest level, both mentally and physically. Oh, Saxton, stop sucking up. Gable will never thank, thank you. you. A Lucha Libre megastar now looking to dominate WWE. I'd say there's a very good chance he'll do that. And representing Legado del Fantasma from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos Escobar! Escobar is supremely skilled, taking his cues from Mexico's greatest Lucha legends. Yeah, he's even battled those same legends and came out on top. The battle-tested leader of the LWO, Santos Escobar, knows he has what it takes. This superstar possesses the smoothest tope suicida in the business. It hits you like an arrow straight from hell. And he also possesses a phantom driver that will absolutely flatten you. Main event, Jey Uso. Yeah, it's just him, Uso. You look at what Jey Uso has done away from the bloodline, and he is definitely worthy of the main event moniker. First man in over three years to pin Roman Reigns. Nearly defeated the Tribal Chief, went on and earned multiple titles without his family. But Jey will not be happy until he is on top of the mountain all by himself. The entire WWE Universe on their feet for Jey Uso. Well, it sounds like this entire arena agrees that this is indeed the main event. Well, here comes the Scottish warrior. Carrying his trusted blade, Angela, McIntyre summons the support of the WWE Universe into battle. McIntyre has summoned the WWE Universe to aid him in battle along his passionate journey to fulfill his destiny atop WWE.
McIntyre has remained laser focused on striking down adversary after adversary. Yeah, and McIntyre's intensity is always off the charts. Drew McIntyre is ready for war. Here we go, guys. Look at the swagger on display. I love it. Swagger. Really, Saxton? You know a number of people in the back just despise this superstar. Well, the WWE Universe clearly disagrees with you, Corey. Oh, what else is new? Doesn't matter the situation, the champion always has a winning game plan. The latter can be your best friend or your worst enemy in a Money in the Bank match. You have to be acutely aware of the positioning of the ladder. Sometimes it's an extra participant in the match. Just climbing the ladder and holding the contract is not enough to win. Exactly, Corey. The ladder must be directly below the briefcase. Moves and submissions are great to incapacitate your opponent, but there are no pinfalls and no submissions. It always comes down to who wants it more. Would you are arm bar applied? Focusing on a body part, picking it apart. The arm's as good of a place to focus as any. Boom! Oh, my God! Look at the arm for a Fujiwara arm bar. That was some heavy pressure applied to the arm. Making the arm numb makes your opponent very vulnerable. This match grinded him down a little. Yeah, and Jay had it well measured. Boom, what impact! The Scottish warrior staring into his opponent's soul right now, trying to see what they're made of. Well, what is something most people forget about in a ladder match? Timing is everything in a ladder match. You have to know when to climb. You have to be quick up the ladder. You have to be quick to unhook. Every second you waste in a ladder match is your potential downfall. Return fire from Gable. Right now, a good spot too, right in the center of the ring. 
Looks to me like that ladder's positioned perfectly in the center of the ring. Oh, he just got the crowd. This is it. He could do it right here. And the crowd is starting to come in. Grabs it. And the ladder match is over. He's abrasive, but he's also really freaking good. And he has the titles and main events to prove it. The visionary hauls so much drip, the water level rises wherever he goes. But here's the thing, that's all a part of his mind games. If the opposition is thinking about Seth's outfit or his dancing, they aren't thinking about the match. The punishment of the Judgment Day is here. Damian Priest, an intimidating figure who prides himself on being pure evil. The size of Damian Priest, his intensity, he is easily one of the most imposing superstars in WWE. From the moment the Archer of Infamy sets his sights on you, you know you're in trouble. When Priest goes after someone, he does not miss. This dude's got to come out firing. Rollins is not short on confidence. This World Heavyweight Championship has been all about big-time fights, big-time work ethic. This match should be something else. Big fight feel, big fight atmosphere, World Heavyweight Championship on the line here tonight. Sidewalk slam! Almost drove him through the ring. Oh, wicked. 
wicked kick to the lower back. Oh my goodness, the proverbial mud hole has been stomped, and now it's time to walk it dry. Priest gets countered. Picture perfect drop kick. What do we need to see from Damian Priest in this match if he wants to get the win? I think Priest needs to look for ways to get the physical advantage. The more he can do to put his unbridled strength to work, the better. The power he can put behind his punches is his best bet at finding victory. Pulverizing the arm is a great way to create an advantage, basically forcing your opponent to fight one-handed. Broken arrow. The challenger eating up some damage. Damian looking to push the advantage after that. Oh, man, taking it to the trachea. The champ lifts his shoulder up before one there. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. And the counter from Rollins. No, I missed you. I wanted to knee you in the face again. Back with a rebound. Covered by the challenger. He gets an emphatic kick out. Channeling his energy to stay in this matchup. Left by the turnbuckles. Gotta hurt. The challenger focused on wearing down the champ's arm. Well scouted reversal there. Great reversal. Stick kick. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. He's begging him to get up so he can put him back down. Fly him. Look out below. Took a leap of faith and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. A revolution knee. And Priest is brought to a disadvantage now. Priest has to find a way to right the ship here. Back straight into the post on the outside. There's the arm ringer. Followed by the leg drop. from Priest. And Priest fends him off. Damian Priest hit the lights. The challenger not looking good right now. Statement being made by Priest. Power behind every maneuver he lays in. Scissors kick, sucker. He heads outside, countouts legal in this match. Gets inside the ring. Hoisted up and tombstone slam. And that is why they call what he does punishment. Priest bringing down the sword and administering judgment in a truly ruthless fashion. Picture perfect drop kick. These competitors came out here poised and ready for a fight, and boy, are they delivering. There's two! Oh, and a kick out, a kick out, a kick out! Both competitors digging into wells they didn't even know existed. Oh, right to the throat. Great move. Oh, my God! He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Priest wants to finish this one. This'll do it. Broken arrow. Vicious right forearm. Scissors kick with authority. The challenger's hopes are slipping away. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. The architect is going to need a heck of a plan to get out of this one. Lift it into the fireman's carry. Here is your win.
winner and new world heavyweight champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins. I still can't believe it. There you see our new champion. We really are looking at a new era, Cole. Soak it in. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, looking to continue his dominance in WWE. Competing at his highest level, striving for the main event, and the biggest prize. to solidify his position at the top of the WWE. He reached the main event of WrestleMania. Now it's time to finally finish the story. You can compare him to his father, his brother, but Cody has been dead set on forging his own path to success. While certainly honoring his family, Cody knows this is his time to shine. And a win tonight goes a long way towards that. of historic wins. Yeah, Randy has every right to rest on his accomplishments, but he hasn't. Kept evolving his game, continuing to grow as a competitor. That's exactly, Michael, why Randy Orton is so dangerous. In fact, you could say that Randy Orton is better now than ever before. Randy Orton is as lethal as they come. And that's what makes Orton so intimidating. Every opponent knows what the Viper is capable of, and it's scary. It's got to be hard for any competitor to stay composed, knowing that they could be Orton's next victim. Fight Owens fight. And from Maryville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens! Throughout his career, KO has let it be known he will fight anyone, anywhere. 
Truly, Kevin Owens has no hint of fear in his being. Since day one, it has been about one thing, fight Owens, fight. And the time to fight is just moments away. the numbers it's as simple as that and a lot of strength on display here And here we go, a lot of superstars involved in this matchup. Each team is going to look for their competition's weakness. The weakest link on a team will certainly be exposed. A team would be smart to identify their own weaknesses and keep that superstar out of the fight. Up and down, what a gourd buster. What reflexes to stop Sokoa. throw saying not today he went right into that turnbuckle oh there's a kick right to the face double the punishment knowing how big all six of these men's egos can be they might struggle to stay on the same page in this matchup, which is why the success of either team is most likely going to boil down to deferring to veteran experience. Oh, impressive counter. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Oh, oh, what a headbutt on the mark. And he gets the tag. Tagged into action. A kick right to the midsection. This ought to be good. What power? Power oh, bomb. Wait, wait a minute. Not done yet? What a Samoa drop. took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. You're a Nagi. Man, oh man. Owens at the mercy of his opponent. Owens just can't find any breathing room. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. Oh, brutal form. Tags him in. So 
Brazilian. Great wherewithal on the counter. Uh oh, we're going to hyperdrive. And into the count. There's two. What? Oh, he kicked out. The end was in sight. to bleed. Who won the race? Charlie's horse. Able to avoid there. Seated suplex. Powerful suplex toss. Oh. Dribbling the opponent's head like a He's in a little bit of trouble now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic enough, Cole? We're going to hyperdrive. This press. Rapid fire right shoulders down. And the count doesn't even begin. What stamina. It's truly impressive to completely... Probably not going to win for a couple hundred years, Byron. You know why? Because the Billy Goat's curse is in effect. Oh, I can't stand this. Way to put the curse. Down with the Samoan drop. That's got to be it. Two. Shoulder up, shoulder up. What do you have to do to put this guy away? If this works, it could change the course of the match. Oh my god! Moonsault! You see that height? And that can be all. Let's see. Some serious damage to the arm being inflicted here. We knew this was going to be brutal, but didn't imagine carnage like this. Well, I guarantee no one had this on their bingo card. in the palm of his hand and he knows it. He fends off the attack. Close line. Ooh, pinpointing the trachea. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top. Diving elbow drop. Are you kidding me? Sight set on the top rope. Something different in mind here. Wow. In the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. Gets tagged in. Sokoa hits the spinning solo. 
Rearing way back. Samoan spike. Now Solo needs to end this. And that'll finally do it. What a victory. Here are your winners. The Bloodline. Big win for these three here tonight. You could just sense the intensity in the air throughout this one. Yeah, this win was well earned.